All right, here we are. It is the month of February, and that's right. That means top four baits for the month of February coming up at you. Guess what? February means one thing to me, and it means that fish are start the bass that is are starting to get a little territorial. They're not in most places. They're not spawning yet, but they're thinking about it. They're starting to move shallow. They're starting to get territorial. I feel like baits that have some vibration really come into play, really are key. So my, my, the number one I'm, one I'm gonna start with is the Wamiku Shad. It's a rattle trap, lipless type of bait, crankbait. This one is spring crawl. It's February, it's a spring, hello. Uh, this one is, is, is definitely a good color. Of course, don't forget about reds and red colors in the lipless. Now you can fish this thing in and around any type of grass and I'm gonna throw it in lakes that don't have any grass. I'm gonna throw it in there too. You can just throw it and reel it. You can throw it and pump it, uh, let it hit the bottom, pump it off, kind of yo-yo it, you can do that. Uh, but really, you don't have to do too much with it, but just throw it. You can throw it and make really long casts with it. You can throw it in ponds. You can throw it in uh, I mean, every lake and river that you can think of. Be careful about throwing it around a lot of wood and lay down because it'll ding hang up immediately. So be careful, that's the only kind of drawback from the lipless baits, but that's one I'm gonna start with. Uh, it's got a lot of, a lot of thump and a lot of rattles. That bait vibrates back and forth real hard. So it, it elicits that, that response from those bass that time of year when the territorial, boom, they're gonna hit it. Number two, actually a bait that we talked about last month, but it is definitely still one you better have tied on. That's a jerk bait. This is Spro Mix Stick 110. Love me a jerk bait in the in the winter time and in that early spring, February. I don't care if I'm in Florida, South Carolina, Georgia, Pennsylvania, Missouri. I'm gonna have one of these bad boys tied on pre-spawn. We're gonna target bluff walls. We're gonna target secondary points. We're gonna target main lake points. We're gonna target around boat docks, marina docks, um, any of those kind of places. Jerk bait could come into play and be sure to throw the jerk bait early in the morning when the low light conditions are still going on. That can be that can be big right there. Number three is one of my favorites, the Little John, hence the name Little John. This one, I was gonna get it up here. The rattling version. This is the uh, Rayburn Red. It's not a color we've had very long, so I haven't caught a ton on the Little John MD with this. Now the, now the original Little John, spring crawl color by the way, probably my all time favorite go-to, but if your, lake, if your lake that you're fishing is shallower and flatter with a little more stain, I'd probably go with the original Little John. If, the, if it is a little bit deeper and I'm fishing a little bit deeper areas, then I'd probably go with the MD. The MD is probably the best, better all around choice, gets a little bit deeper. Uh, th they have a little bit different vibrations, by the way, but that would be that would be number three, throwing that on a, a you know, cash in John Cruz square bill rod, of course, uh, but we're gonna go with lighter line in February, probably 10 or 12 pound test at the most. 10, you can even go down to eight if you wanna get a little bit deeper and let the, you know, those fish in those, you know, lay downs or on those the steeper banks, you wanna get that bait a little bit deeper, going down to eight pounds on line, not a problem. Uh, you might want to do that. But then last but not least for the month of February, my friend, your friend, Mr. Mini Flip Jig. This is a 3 8 For some reason, I feel like in February, 3 8 might be a, a little slower fall, might be what you need to dial up. This is a bruiser. If I could only pick one color, I'm picking bruiser. I just, I love it. I've caught so many fish on it in the Bassmaster Classic a couple years ago, Lake Gunnersville, in the month of February. I was throwing, I was throwing the half ounce and a three eighths. I was going back and forth. I probably caught more on a half ounce there because some of the cover I was fishing was, you know, eight to twelve feet deep, a little bit deeper. Uh, and then put the little mini D chunk on the back of that bad boy, and that's it. This is it right here. You can mix and match the colors if you would like, but uh, you can put that that chunk right on the back. I'm not gonna bore you with putting that on there, uh, but you can put that thread, that chunk right on there, and it's a nice little package. 
but uh, that's that's going to definitely be my number four choice, which I also called for the mini flip jig in the month of January. Yes, I will not leave the house in January or February without that mini flip jig. So you better have that thing tied on. I'm throwing it on a bait caster, probably 16 to 20 pound test. If I'm going to be pitching it into cover, like lay downs, way back up under docks, might go more towards the 20. If I'm going to be casting it and just kind of dragging it along, I might try to back off to the 8, 16 or maybe 18. That's just kind of where I go with the Sunline Shooter fluorocarbon. Uh, but those are my top four baits for the month of February. Yes, a lot of vibration, a lot of, uh, it, basically, a lot. you want to make those fish mad. You want them to be able to find your bait. So that's why I had a lot of baits with vibrations in there. I can't wait to be throwing the swim jigs and the top waters and all that fun stuff here once the weather warms up. But in February, you want to go get bit, throw those four baits.